Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's uh, now a little bit of a, uh, well, it's a turn to go ahead and look at about the crossbows again. Um, as you know, I'm the happy owner of a Micro uh, 360 TD takedown from Excalibur. And um, I've had a little bit of trouble here the last uh, 14 days with it. That's why I haven't seen anything from it since I actually made the maintenance on it. And we're in for a little bit more maintenance and uh, maybe upgrades as well. Um, I was out to hunt or go for a hunt for hawk hunting at night actually it was kind of cold seeing well everything's relative when you're saying cold here in florida but it was 44 degrees uh, kind of cold than normal and i was freezing a bit and i was sitting in my tree top on my tree stand on a climber and um, i actually had a little bit of an incident with the crossbow that involved actually at some point it sounded like a small bottle or an empty water bottle that was cracking on me or when you crumble it up it actually has this kind of really cracking sound and dry cracking sound comes slowly not explosive or anything like that but what it was was actually my uh, crossbow was um, having a limb failure so i experienced a limb failure with it sitting at night in the darkness uh, it was not really fun but anyway this is what happens and I was kind of sad over it because I've been having so much fun with this bow for um, the last, uh, well, almost a year to more than a year now. And of course, that can happen. Anyway, I got uh, sound suppression on there. I have all these different uh, gizmos on that keeps it completely quiet. And of course, I was hoping that I was going to go ahead and extend the life of the crossbow. And in this case, uh, it might have, I'm not sure. But in this case, it actually broke on me anyway. So um, how does that look and what are we going to do? Well, here is the uh, crossbow standing and as you can see the limb is now really bad. The, uh, my string that was actually maintenance wise also sorted out has been, it, it actually turns off to be pulled off to the side in the mechanism in there and that's why it's torn apart a little bit, but it held up. So it's just a matter of taking that serving off that we have here now and uh, then once I have the serving off, I can go ahead and put it back in and wax it up. And the string will be quite fine, I think, in this case. Um, so that might be it. But anyway, the crossbow itself, as you can see, has been broken right here where it's actually attached to the crossbow itself. So this limb has to come off and that's about it. Now, I do have one subscriber who wrote to me as well that he'd had some trouble with it as well and uh, by that by that time I did not have any problems or had any trouble with my crossbow in any way uh, I do now so now I have to go ahead and figure out what to do with it I have to make a huge shout out to Excalibur in Canada uh, because I called through here where I'm at now through the dealer and they want to see all kinds of stuff but I figured you know let's go ahead and call them up there I talked to a guy called Peter with Excalibur in uh, Canada he said can you send me a picture and said well you got a lifetime warranty on this crossbow and of course we can help let's go ahead and send you some limbs and uh, see what we can do and basically my choice was either to send the bow up they'll fix it for me or I could do it myself and I like to do it myself because I trust that I can do this really good and I kind of like to put that into my own hands and uh, therefore they have just sent everything back this took place within after sending a picture of the crossbow it didn't take more than a few minutes and then the things were actually set in place and actually activated and then as they got the new limbs in they would send it straight off to me it took about five days for the uh, package to actually arrive at my um, at my location here and now we have to go ahead and open up the package and see what's inside of it. So uh, stay tuned and let's see what happens. The limbs for the crossbow just arrived and I just took them in and here it is. So uh, let's go ahead and open up the box. So let's see what's in the box that came from uh, Excalibur. And let's open it up and see if there's new limbs and whatever comes with it. I have to say I'm very excited to see what's in there because I can't wait to go hawk hunting at night again with a nice scope so hopefully that's going to be within reach within the next few hours so let's have a look new limbs looks like the ones we need small hole in the middle looks really nice so it's the same uh, same camo they look really nice actually beautiful we'll put them in in a second let's see and uh, on top of that they also sent me a new suppression kit 
and a new string so I can get that working right away. Cannot say anything, but this is really nice. The um, they exceed my expectations. Everything is in here as well, and it's sent, and everything is completely. I got the shocks on there, the string, string, whatever, and it's all without a single cost to me at all. So, a huge shout out to Excalibur. They really, they really uh, live up to the expectations, and um, I have to say, I'm very, very pleased with uh, the product. So. Um, Let's go ahead and mount these new limbs and see if we can go hunting soon. So what do we need to go ahead and fix this uh, crossbow? Well, Allen wrench is a good idea. I got my wrench here as well to put on the back side here. I got the string changer, new wax to put back on. And then I got the limbs of course over there and the new string and suppression kit is here as well. I'm thinking about maybe taking these off and put some monkey tails on uh, instead um, but let's see how that works so uh, let's get started <clears throat> So now we are taking everything apart, as you can see, we're taking all the stuff out, here we are. Um, make sure, I always make sure I know which bolt goes into where, you can clean it up. They've been using a little bit of some kind of a Loctite on it, I'm going to put that in as well. Uh, and then after I clean this up, I'm going to go ahead and mount the new ones. I'm going to take off the uh, sound suppression system here as well, get that on the uh, new ones. And uh, in a second, I'll be ready for the last part. The uh, brake, as you can see, is uh, pretty much a clean brake all the way across. Um, the fibers apparently must have been a little bit weak in there, I'm not sure, but that's the brake itself. The, the attachment to the crossbow, as you can see, is right here. So, so I'm cleaning up the pieces now, nice and easy. And what I'm doing here, I'm just cleaning up all the stuff in here. And I'm gonna use a little bit of uh, compressed air to clean it out with. Oh, we can see that, guys. But uh, there's a little bit of dust that needs to be cleaned up. And then on this side over here, as you can see, there's a plastic uh, membrane um, or a piece that goes in between here as well. Mine has gotten a little bit of suffering over here, but I don't think it's enough to go ahead and be worried about it. But it actually goes on like that and um, that's basically what I'm going to clean out as well. This part is getting cleaned up as well as you can see that's the front of it. Uh, has suffered a little bit on this one but it's not, not a lot so I think it's going to be just fine. And then of course the wrinkles on the on the bolts here and the screw that goes in has to be cleaned up as well and then I'm ready to assemble it all again. So what am I cleaning with? Well a cloth of course and uh, I'm not going to use anything completely difficult so I'm just going to take a normal clean and shine product um, initially to see how much is there and then of course compressed air to make sure that the wrinkles are all uh, in good shape in here as well so that's how we do that. The wrinkles going to be cleaned with a normal as you know steel brush and it takes it off very very easy and it looks really nice. Now everything is cleaned up at the moment so now it's just a matter of uh, putting on the uh, old limbs and uh, sorry the new limbs and then we are actually ready to rock and roll. So uh, let's try that. Well here are the limbs one of them they're 100% uh, identical they do have a number down here uh, basically they're different but uh, whatever goes to which side now when you put the limbs in place again be very much sure that you actually check in here because these small washers that are sitting there are flat on one side and they fit right on this part right here as well that way you can put it in correctly so if they're not turned right you won't get this thing to to match up and you won't be able to assemble it correctly either so make sure you do that 
As you can see here now, the assembly is almost being ready to be tightened up. I'm going to leave it a little bit on the loose side here until I get the other side fixed. Because once that is fixed, then I can go ahead and tighten it up to see everything is fine. So uh, let's go ahead and try that now. So let's put this in. There we go. Next limb coming on. If it doesn't go in correctly, make sure you turn the small adapters so they actually fit. Um, there we go. It might take a few tries initially, but it will come. There we go. Do not force anything. Uh, what's if the fit is not 100%, then uh, you might want to swap the limbs around to see how it goes. I'm just going to try with my old one here. That goes in right away and fits perfectly. So actually the new limbs are a little bit wider um, down the bottom. So that could be uh, an indication of it. Let me see if I, if I swap them around, if it's gonna be better. Let's try that. So you keep track of your screws so they go into the right holes. <clears throat> a slight difference between the two. So in this case I'm gonna put that over on this side and I'm gonna go ahead and put the other one on the other side if it so fits. But let's have a look. Once you have it assembled and you want to put the bolt back in again always hand tighten don't use any uh, allen wrenches or anything yet just make sure you get a good grip with your fingers that way you know you're not going to do anything wrong or squeeze the limb so you take good care of it it's really it's really important that you do that so uh, don't force anything just take your time with it and that way you won't damage the limb and you will not damage your crossbow either so just hand tighten first and then when you can feel it's gotten the wrinkles are okay then you can go ahead and use the allen wrench afterwards. The same thing is going on the other side. Make sure you get your hand tightened first. And once you get that all hand tightened in, then you're actually ready to tighten it up afterwards. But initially, only hand tighten. Don't force anything the wrong way. There we go. You might even have to uh, release a little bit more. Make sure when you get to the point where you need to go and hand tighten it, make sure that this is actually completely uh, leaning up against the limb, uh, the stop is leaning up against the limb exactly as you want it. Uh, so you don't put any extraordinary pressure on that might actually be able to bend it worse than you actually want. Then just tighten slightly, don't tighten it all the way up yet because you want to make sure that there is no tension in the mechanism in here in between. So just take it slowly and take your time with it. And then take it once at a time. A little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here, a little bit there, and you should be quite okay. Now this is just put in. It's not tightened up anyway. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. <clears throat> Fits right in. Then from here, make sure that you have the uh, limb stop there is exactly where you want it. And then only hand tighten it. Don't tighten it completely up. And then work your way slowly so you bend uh, it in onto place nice and dandy without destroying anything so this is basically what you do right now so now i'm going to go ahead and take these over there and see how you kind of say it's a crisscross pattern but almost the important part is that you don't have any tension in the limb before you actually tighten it up so you know i got a little bit there it actually looks like it's completely okay and by pushing it in, my bolt looks like the same. If you can see it here, 
this can now be tightened a little bit so it actually has the same distance all the way around this one over here needs to be tightened on the outside here that's why it looks like that so only hand tighten it don't go too much a little bit at a time that way you won't destroy your limbs anywhere on the way in so when you have this right now and you can see this is uh, ready to be tightened up a little bit here it's going to move that distance on the outside here back to where it is and then it's going to be going into place without being uh, able to destroy your limbs on the other side over here i need to tighten this one as you can see once i tighten this one in this is going to move so that is going to be a less distance here and i will slowly be able to move uh, the limb into place and also tighten it up without having any stress on it anywhere and therefore it should be able to last me a lot longer so just take your time with this Let's see if i can get the camera to focus as you can see over here right now that's a shorter distance than there is over there and by me tightening up the screws on the outside you'll see that distance is going to change so here is a round on the bottom let me go ahead and go for a round on the top just like that and as we come in you'll see now that the distance is going back to the bottom and one more round down here one more on the top and now you can see it changes slightly here we go now the distance is actually more or less equal all the way around so now I'm ready to go ahead and tighten this one in a little bit and it goes absolutely beautiful into its place and then you just tighten it up and then you tighten up your stop so just give your time yourself the time you need to uh, to tighten it there we go now they're very very easy again one round here one round down here you might have to go half rounds at some point that limb is now in place and it's just the same you got to do on the other side and you're now ready to go ahead and string it in a second so uh, let's go ahead and take it on the other yeah, side on the other side let's go ahead and do the same thing as you can see there's a difference on the limb out here and right now i need to push in it a little bit or screw this thing a little bit and it will enable me to go ahead and put the limb back into place so let's go ahead and do that Now having good serving on your strings are really imperative in this case as well and as I did in one of my previous videos you can probably find it as well on the channel um, you can see how I actually uh, reserved this string right here now bear in mind that this was actually located on the crossbow when this happened at full draw as well so this is the amount of damage that I have to it so if you look at the serving right now I just, rem I just took out the um, string silences they were actually up here as well but the string had a double serving of half the size yes i know you're going to go ahead and maybe have some problems with it at any time you might have to go ahead and do it use a little bit more but if i had used the big string i probably had a lot worse uh damage to it but if you look at it carefully now i got the double serving right here that has come a little bit out of place it's still actually attached exactly where i wanted it on both sides it didn't slide anywhere the only place it actually slid was actually from here to there and the string itself looks like when i take this off that it's completely intact so i might be able to actually go ahead and reserve this string up and actually use it as my reserve string uh, in uh, in the future so uh, having a good serving being able to do that uh, you might want to check up on uh, on my channel for the video where i do that serving and i think it's called crossbow maintenance if you go ahead and look at that you might be able to go ahead and save yourself uh, some trouble and headaches uh, in the future it's now time to put the string on let's do that a new one so uh, I'm not gonna wax it before it gets on it's a lot easier they come out and they look like this absolutely beautiful um, you can see with the serving in the middle it's a little bit bigger than the other one um, I'm gonna go ahead and trim it up a little bit and twist it uh, all make sure you inspect it before I can feel this has been waxed already from the factory so this is absolutely perfect and then it's going to be sitting on there now in order to get there make sure you protect your string 
we have to um, put in some other stuff that might that you might not have used that much but this is basically your um, pulley that you need and that goes on right here and over there it's fine now once you have that set in place you take your wench really important put that down here over there so you can see what I'm doing Hit the release, bring it up. I'll just take it around this one here. There we go. You don't need to have a lot of force on it. It doesn't take long to do it, actually. Just put it on. There you go. And make sure it's below that arrow right here. And the arrow keeper in place there. Go ahead and turn it up. You don't even need, as far as I recall, you don't even need to use anything else. You just pull it slightly back. Like that. And then you're ready to put on the string. So uh, let's go ahead. Yeah. And then you put it on the inner side of that little mount you got on there. There we are. I'm going to skip my string silences this time because they're down to three pieces. And I'm gonna put some uh, monkey tails on instead. Further back. In case you need it further back, you can always mount your your wrench completely. So now, if you look at it now, the string is now in place. Uh, this is holding at the moment. Got all the way through here, over here as well. Slightly twisted, which is good. Uh, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and put in my Excalibur string stops here as well so they fit exactly where I want them to be so I'll take that off and glue them on right now now clean up the uh, area right there and then be ready with this one here you go remove the tape there you go and now you're ready to put it on as well so I normally go by this by the string just follow the string all the way in a little bit of forward pressure on it and then as the string comes in you can see that you're almost there as you're there make sure that it actually also is completely in uh, in line here with that little uh, slot that's in there and then you just push it glue it in let it sit for at least 24 hours because it's not going to uh, sustain all the pressure that you have on when you actually fire it later on and once that is sorted you are ready to uh, go out and side in your crossbow again which we'll do later there we go monkey tails look like this i'm going to put some blue ones on um for a string silencer they work pretty well on my matthews bow so i'm going to do that on this one here to see how it works this is the first time i put them on so let's uh, hope they're going to last um, I hope they will. Looking like this, one monkey tail here, one monkey tail there to stop the vibration from the string so it's gonna stay uh, nice and just one dandy shot with uh, nice and firm release and that's basically it. So uh, this completes the uh, let's say the limb change and string change and also some of the limb saver changes and so forth for the crossbow uh, micro 3 60 TD. I uh, can't look, uh, can't wait to go out and try it out in the shooting range. Let's go out and shoot it in and see how that goes. So, um, I hope you'll stay tuned for that part as well. But this is how we change the limbs on this crossbow. Thank you, Excalibur. Just taking off the uh, limbs here as well, or the bow itself. I'm just going to put in some Excalibur Easy Wax. And I've done that. As you can see, it has a different shiny effect right now. I just put it on. You just go ahead and put it onto the string and you use your fingers to heat it up so it falls in between the wrinkles on your serving. That way it works a lot longer. The next thing we do to make sure it actually uh, lasts a long time is that we're going to use my first string crossbow rail loop. So I'm going to put it into the rail right here. So that's going to be maintained in good shape as well. The job is now completely uh, finalized and uh, we now have the uh, limbs changed, strings set back on into place, 
got some monkey tails on there for the vibration the the rail is looped up as you can see so it's ready to go and that's all the way across as well the string is waxed and we got the string um and limb savers over here as well and the string stuff there as well is actually also set in place so basically the whole job is now complete and i'm um, looking forward to go out and try it out on the uh the range so uh if you don't have already done it you might as well like and subscribe i'll be happy to if you do that and uh, then i'll come back with some more videos on the crossbow later on i think we might go out and do some hawk hunting during this week or within the coming weeks so let's see what we can come up with stay tuned i hope you enjoyed it and uh click the like and subscribe button until then, we'll see you next time.